Hi, it's Tiffany, founder of Unega Mountain Dog Rescue. Wanted to just give you a brief start, I guess, of how we came about and why Unega exists today. And it was with our first rescue, who my son actually rescued. Her name was Kelly Lulu. We lost her about three weeks ago. She died at about eight years old. She was our queen. She was our alpha. She was our very first rescue. Found her in a ditch at two months old, left behind by the sheep herders. And um, she was very sick. She had, the, she had parvo, and we really didn't think that she was gonna make it. And at first, we couldn't figure out what breed she was, so we educated ourselves and found out she was an Akbosh, a breed that we had never even heard of. And that's where it began. Uh, it became uh, an educational process for myself and for Gary at the time, of learning how they use these dogs in Blaine County every single summer, what the dogs' jobs are, how they're used, and then sadly found out that um, in the state of Idaho, these dogs are listed under um, a livestock classification, which means that they're a production animal and have no protection laws to govern them. So that means that they can be left behind um, if they're too sick to keep up with the band of sheep. Um, if they're injured, they're left behind. And it's, it's really a sad thing, and that's why we started Unega, is to not only save the dogs that are abandoned, but also to hopefully educate and change the law surrounding these dogs. So Kelly Lulu was number one, um, and then we have Boone, who became her boyfriend. Boone is a big, giant, great peer who we rescued. He was working a band of sheep, but he didn't really care for his job a whole bunch and he kept leaving the band of sheep. And he didn't care if they were gonna be eaten by wolves or not. It wasn't, wasn't gonna be his deal. So we saved Boone um, from certain death because that would have been another thing. If a dog doesn't work, they don't have the time or the energy to um, train that dog any further. So Boone was destined to be shot. Boone was number two. Olaf is number three. These are sanctuary dogs that I'm listing. Kind of backtracking a little bit. Onega Mountain Dog Rescue Sanctuary is twofold. We are a rescue and we are a sanctuary. And the dogs that I'm listing here are sanctuary dogs. And the reason they become sanctuary dogs is usually become because of some sort of medical issue, injuries that are significant, or behavioral issues that we just don't think they would make a good fit to be adopted out into a family. Then we do have rescue dogs as well who are good adoptable dogs once we get them healthy, spay and neutered, vaccinated, that sort of thing, then they're good to go. So that's kind of the difference of why we keep some dogs and why, why some dogs are adopted out. Back to my listing of dogs, Kelly Lulu, Boone, Olaf, Josie, Spencer, Nuka, Amber, Cassie, Finley, then we have Maverick, Cleo, and Maya um, as part of the sanctuary group. All these dogs have their own personal story. They're all tragic in their own way, but ultimately the bottom line is that these dogs were left behind. They were not cared for. They were neglected. They were, work they were not fed very much food. In the end, they were too tired to keep up or too broken to keep up, and Unega comes in and rescues them and rehabilitates them. And here we are today.